Welcome everybody. You know, uh, this is your boy uh, Dion and um, my co partner here is. It's your boy, man, RJ three thousand rolling. You know who I am. <laughs> yeah, man, we trying to make a new podcast going on here. You know, um, something something that's small. You know, something that might you know continue through college. You know, I hope that you know y'all enjoy it. And um, you know, this is something this is something to level up. You know, uh, now the podcast is gonna be the DSJ podcast with uh, Roland. You know, um, we're gonna try to add some more people here to it. I mean, as we grow, we're gonna try to add more people. We're gonna try to talk to more people. Um, we're gonna try to add special guests. You know, um, just things of that nature. You know, it's just nothing uh, more than sports talk, life talk. Um, you know, college life, things of that nature. You know, we trying to just let y'all know. Uh, um, uh, we got to go on commercial break, and uh, yeah, welcome to the podcast. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Um, you know, let's start our first topic. You know, um, just said had some things I had to, you know, wanted to start up with. Um, you know, just just curious, like who who is the San Fran uh, fans? You know, like I got a question to ask y'all. Do y'all think you know Brock Purdy uh, is y'all quarterback for the Stop future? It. Nah, Stop. nah, bro. He's Stop. Brock Purdy good, bro. Okay. Brock Purdy is good, dog. Brock Purdy, Purdy, right? Yeah, Brock Purdy. What he had? Two good games. It's yeah, been like two the, games since he started. That's the Buccaneers. I can't lie, his confidence is through the roof right now. But man, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's how long he been benched? Like how long has he been in the league? Actually. Well, you know, I'm not going to count him out just because Patrick Mahomes didn't come on and instantly start. Yeah. So Brock Purdy could be that future, but I don't know. I just feel like Trey Lance going to come back stronger, man. Yeah. I feel like he could. But either that, or one of them get traded, both of them shine. So we'll see. Because uh, forget Jimmy Garoppolo. We hate him. I mean, like, you know, Tom Brady was a seventh round pick, and he was Mr. Irrelevant at one point as well. Nice. You know, like, you know. And look what he became. I'm not saying he's going to be like Tom Brady, but I'm going to say, you know, if he can get to that point where, you know, he can take him to the playoffs, you know, there might be a debate saying something about how Trey Lance might not. Are they going to start over? I mean, are they going to start Brock Purdy over Trey Lance? Because he took them to the playoffs, you know what I mean? But I don't know. You see, I two games he looked good, you know. The defense looked good. Uh, so Christian McCaffrey doing his thing. Uh let me see. Uh, Debo's down though, so that's that's the that's the only question. Oh my god, thing. Debo's Debo down. is hurt. Um, that's my fantasy right there. That's so, my fantasy score right there. Go on. So um, yeah, Breaking I don't know. Who, I don't know about Debo. Um, you see, they they receiving court. I mean, outside of George Kittle, they ain't got really. Now, now I got a question for you, uh, Dion. Um, so I don't know if you saw the play where Mr. Debo kind of uh, he caught the touchdown. And he uh, knocked over like the cameraman. Then he just stepped over and like the AI thing. I don't know if he was trying to be cute, fancy, just make it look funny. But you know what I'm saying? They said it was kind of karma because after that, not too long after that, he got hurt. He didn't even help the man that he knocked over up. You know what I'm saying? He kind of, you know, he just did the AI step over, which was unnecessary unless that he unless that was the opponent he was going against. You know, it's the cameraman. He just getting. You know, he just getting flicked for him and everything. So you think? Did you think that was a little karma, or should he have done that? Well, I think you know, uh, you know, these receivers here, this this day and age, you know, even though I'm 20 years old, this day and age, 
you know, the receivers are going to do whatever they want. You know, um, the big time receivers are going to do whatever they want. It's a cameraman. A cameraman ain't, it ain't no NFL player, so they look down on a cameraman um, as like just someone um, normal. You know what I mean? So um, him stepping over a cameraman is disrespectful. Um, it's very disrespectful. And then it's like, bro, like, you know, why would you do that? You know, you're going to get fined for doing that. And then, like, at the same time, you getting hurt, then, like, it might be karma. It may be karma. I, I don't know. It, it could be karma, but, like, you know, did he deserve it? Uh, I'm not going to say he deserved it because I don't want nobody to be hurt, but, like, you know, you shouldn't be doing that to no cameraman and then expect um, things not to happen to you. So you're going to get fined, and then now you hurt, and you might not be able to play the rest of the season. So, I like that. That's a solid answer. That's a solid answer. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Um, yeah. So, pretty much what we got coming up next, man. Before we move on, uh, everyone in the chat, just give us give us a prediction of the Forty ers record if they're gonna make it to the Super Bowl or how far they're gonna make it. But next, we're we will be talking about the Odell Beckham situation. So let's go on a little commercial break, and we'll be right. Back to the DSJ podcast, man. We about to talk about Odell, um, the Odell situation. You know, um, as a Cowboys fan myself, you know, we just signed T.Y. Hilton, and you know, the ranting and raving about Odell Beckham wanting to be a Cowboy or coming to the Cowboys or the Giants or the Bills. You know, but um, the tight. I mean, T.Y. just got signed by Dallas Cowboys. So, Roland, I want to ask you, how do you feel about the T.Y. Hilton signing? And then how do you think that's going to affect Odell Beckham? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. All right. The T.Y. was really unexpected. Like, I I don't know. That was, like, very random. I, I don't – I didn't really see a point to pick him up. I don't know. You know, Michael Gallup, solid. You know, of course, C.D. going to do his thing. And then y'all got that new kid. I forgot his name, but he's starting to get right. Um – and Odell just would have helped way more. Uh, about T.Y., uh, what's the last season he's produced, man? Like, I like three years ago or something like that. Three years, three years. Um, see, that, see that's, the, that's the tricky thing, man. T.Y. was a great player. I don't know. We haven't seen him, as, as you said, three years. That's tough. Plus, the man's getting old, man. He's getting old. Why would Dallas need him to keep him for a year? Maybe, maybe. Okay, this is my prediction. Maybe Odell already counted them out. He said he didn't want to go with Dallas, so that's why they picked up T.Y. What you think about that? Well, you know, um, I feel like, you know, Jerry Jones, I was reading an article, a little article saying something about how Jerry Jones is still considering him as a a cowboy. He's just nervous right now because of how Odell is hurt right now. And so he don't want Odell to just sit there and not do anything if they sign him. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, with the T.Y. Hilton situation, it's, you know, it's, it's it's all right, you know, because, you know, Michael Gallup, he's injury prone. Uh, but the thing is, T.Y. is also injury prone as well. You know, so I don't want T.Y. I like, you know, I feel like T.Y. would help out. I feel like he could help Jalen Tolbert. Um, he could help, you know, he can, CD can learn from him a little bit probably, but I 
feel like, you know, he could help out those young receivers that we have on our team. And um, he could be a slot guy, you know, because we don't really have a slot guy. So, um, you know, it's just something that, you know, I, I like this. I like the signing. But the thing is, if Odell, you know, I'd rather have Odell, though, because, like, you know, Odell is young. He's he's 30, he's 29, 30 years old, I believe. I think, you know, he still has that burst in him. He still has that speed, you know. Um, it's just, you see when he was in the Rams, right? I think, you know, like, he was very good, you know. T.Y., <laughs> T.Y. is, man, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen T.Y. do so well since, like, the 2017 season. You know, that's when T.Y. was was good. You know, he had that chat, uh, he had that chat talk against uh, Joseph, like Jonathan Joseph, Jonathan Joseph. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, it's a lot of things that could go well and a lot of things that could go bad with, for the T.Y. Hill situation. Um so, if there's a thing, you know, uh, I just hope that um, Ty learns to film, learns to film, uh, studies, you know, learns the route concepts, and you know, just do his thing, you know, because we definitely need a slot receiver, and I know he probably is. He's 33 years old, and I know he's old, but we need somebody down there. Now, slot receiver, All right? Give me an estimate. Like, what's the average weight for slot receivers? Probably, probably like one hundred ninety something pounds. You know, one eighty, one ninety. Okay. I don't think it's that. I feel like it's about not close to two hundred, but close. Yeah. Maybe one ninety. Yeah. Right. T.Y. has always kind of been a skinny guy, and what is what is he always ranked on on Madden? He's a deep threat. Now, C.D., you know, C.D. is already a deep threat. So, with T.Y., I think Gallup would be slot. I like Gallup at slot just because he's a little bigger. And maybe if he get hit, you know, even if he do get hurt, I don't know. I feel like it will work better. You know, not saying he's going to get hurt, but. If he just if he stay healthy in that slot, put CD on the outside, I think that'll work way better. Then is who's the other kid with the dreads y'all got? Tolbert. Tolbert. I like him too. So he kinda like that uh so let's see, you got a deep threat, two deep threats, a slot. He can kinda be your slot slash scene person, which which I think will work really well. So I can see benefits in the T Y situation with that. Cause T Y he might not even have to prove that he can. He still got it. I just feel like he got to prove one time. Like, hey, your safety's gonna have to come over here. You worry about CD over there. You, yeah, you gonna have to come over here just to show he still got that speed left. We see Deshaun Jackson, man. That boy still got that speed left, and that's that's proving the problem. People actually take him seriously. Like, oh no, he ain't no old man, you know. So that's what uh, I feel like we won't know until Ty at least proves. In one game that he still got it. That's when the coaches gonna start taking them serious. You know the other coaches, different teams, and that's the big benefit that can probably help y'all out in the playoffs. Now with Odell, as you said, yeah, he injury prone too, so that's that's a tough one. But he gonna help out anywhere. Slot, deep threat, <laughs> kick return, bro. It don't matter. Odell is all around. You feel me? Now I'm not like an Odell meat rider or anything. He's actually one of my least favorite wide receivers. But hey. I got nothing but respect for him because he produces, bro. He just gets hurt. He produces, though, so you can't hate on the man. But, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, the thing is, T.Y. could be a decoy. I feel like T.Y. could be that decoy that could leave C.D. Um, giving C.D. way more options, I mean, way more uh, attempts to catch passes. And, you know, if Dak sees it, you know, he'll throw it T.Y. He'll throw the T.Y. Um, but... One thing I, we need to mention as well, Tony Pollard might be, and I'm not trying to exaggerate, but Tony Pollard might be the starting running back next next year. What? He might be. Tony, I like it. Tony Pollard, Tony I Pollard, like Tony Pollard, like, 
Ezekiel Elliott, he he's good and all that. But Tony Pollard gives you that different that he like he's playing different this year. Like and the thing is, he's a free agent next uh year. Ooh. So if we have to sign so somebody has somebody's gonna try to pay him big money. Bro, he's starting running back. I don't care what nobody So does. that man is nice. So yeah, someone's gonna have to pay someone gonna have to pay him. And I hope the Cowboys pay him because, you know, we need Tony. As as a cowboy fan, we need Tony. But you know, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna be shocked if he leaves for other for bigger money. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, but Zeke, I don't know. The next the next couple of years, I'm just I'm just praying Zeke just produce better than he did that he does the last three years, bro. Like this year, he's doing all right. But like Tony Pollard, when you see you see a difference when Tony Pollard's in the game, you know. And I just can't say enough like it's crazy you know it's really crazy that tony pollard can be put in the starting lineup can be all right i got a little question so if the giants oh i said the giants the cowboys <laughs> if the cowboys if the cowboys Gives Tony Pollard the big bag. Will Zeke leave? I think if Tony Pollard is starting over him, he will. I think that's all we've been waiting for, man. Yeah, I think I think that's that's just probably the case for real. Like if Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard literally um, gets the money, gets the big bag, and Zeke, um, he starts him over Zeke. Like I don't think Zeke wants to play power back, you know. I I don't think he wants to play that. If he does, then the good on him because I I, I mean I want to keep him as well. But like if he plays power pack and he's like the the dude like you know Derrick Henry, you know I'm not saying he's like Derrick Henry to get that. You no, know, Derrick Henry is on a way different level than Ezekiel Elliott. I'm not the Titans fans don't come after me for saying that. Um, but yeah, if literally, um, Ezekiel Elliott plays power back. I don't think he wants to always be hit, you know, at the middle. He don't. I don't think he always want to run up the middle. I think he always wants to ride, run sideline and sideline sometimes too. You know, Tony Pollard's gonna run sideline and sideline. But if he gets that bag in Ezekiel Elliott, you know, because I think the Cowboys fans, the Cowboys fans, are starting to give up on Zeke. You know, that's just that's just how it is from watching other podcasts. All right, we better go on commercial break. You know, um, so simmer down. You know, and Jack, enjoy, relax. You know, get you some popcorn, something else. You know, we about to talk about um, who's upgraded. You know, the, the Lions, the Giants, uh, Commanders, Jets. Who 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 out of those four teams have improved the most? And then the next topic we're gonna put to later on talk about Deion Sanders and how he went to Colorado and. How does Jackson State, I mean Jackson State fans feel? You know? Welcome back, everybody. You know, uh, 
you know, let's talk about the Giants, the Jets, the Lions, the Commanders, man. Who who out of those four teams have been the best? Because, you know, last year, the doggone Jets football team, especially the, the well, a.k.a. football team at the time, the foot, you know what, I ain't going to lie. The football team, I just need to say this briefly, the football team from 2020 to 2021, that was probably the most, like, the biggest collapse I've ever seen. Like, one of the biggest collapses I've seen. You know, their defense was so stacked, they went to the playoffs. And then, you know, Chase Young and Chase Young and everybody, you know, they just get hurt. You see Deron Payne and then and, and Jonathan Allen fighting and, you know, and then this year, you know they seven and nine. I mean they seven. They, I don't know exactly who, what their overall is. I think they're like seven and uh, the Commanders. I think they're like uh, seven and nine or not seven and nine. They're I'm trying. To, they're uh, let's see. We're looking right now. Looking right now, we ain't trying to get coming at the wrong. It's seven and five, the third in the uh, NFC East. You, the the people call it the NFC least, but they're the better team this year. They're better than the AFC West. I'm I'm not lying. I'm not being biased, but that's just that's just the facts. Um, yeah, the Commanders doing uh better this year. The Giants, you know, three and thirteen last year, I believe. Now they seven and five. You know, Saquon Barkley came back and. Stronger and everybody was just trying to doubt him Saying like he's not the same running back no more You know Saquon You can never underestimate Saquon And not to be Not to be weird but them quads You can never underestimate them that man. Hey yo Yeah <laughs> Sorry Um, Them quads Them, them things big pause Hey man <laughs> For real Um, In all seriousness uh, The Lions man I'm in Ross St. Brown And Actually, you know what? Surprisingly, Jared Goff has not played that bad this year. You know? Lions. The Lions have definitely surprised me the most. That's my opinion. Didn't they have the worst record last year? Or was it the Jags? It was the, it was the Jags. It was the Jags, I think, or the Texans. Yeah, the Texans just bad, bro. I don't really care about them. They're bad. But yeah, definitely uh, Lions have surprised me. And then you got the Jets. Um, the Jets literally. I, knew they was be good. I didn't think they were gonna be that good this year. No, I didn't think that good, <laughs> but I, I knew they was gonna be good soon. Sauce, sauce chain. I mean, sauce in that defense, bro. That defense is good, man. They just need a QB. That dog on Zach Wilson, man. I don't know. Mike White is him. He said Mike White is him. Yeah, but the thing is, though, Zach Wilson. Got picked number what was it number two overall, like two three years ago, and he's not it. He's just not it. You know, like it's it, they play so com- like you see the Elijah Moore um the Elijah Moore post a couple um weeks ago, oh, yeah, like a couple said. months ago. You know, he said something about like uh, how he basically don't get the ball, and then they had posted the video. I mean, he had posted himself literally as the QB. Basically throwing the ball, only trying to throw the ball. <laughs> it was funny because it was wild. Because Zach Wilson ain't, is is I'm not gonna say he's garbage yet because he I think he should deserve one more year. But I think Zach Wilson, you know, needs to use his receivers and needs to throw the ball out of bounds when he when he has to. He don't need to throw the ball to a receiver that's in the area, you know, because. No, it's just smart just to throw the ball out of bounds if you don't got nobody downfield. If you don't got nobody in the middle of the field or short routes or covered and you know. So the only person Zach Wilson throws to is Garrett Wilson. You wanna know why? Because they got the same last name. And I think, you know, Garrett Wilson, he's a good too. He's a good receiver. A real good rookie receiver. Very great receiver. Rookie receiver. Um I would say um, is him, Chris Olave, and then surprisingly, Green Bay 
They might got them a receiver. They might got them, you know, Christian Watson. They might he might be he might be someone special next um, no. next year. He might be. No. I mean, I know he's playing versus the NFC East um players, yeah. you know, but you know, Anthony Brown is trash, by the way. I'm just not gonna lie to you. I'm mean, as a cowboy fan, Anthony Brown is trash. But you know what I mean? Like, you gotta keep it you gotta keep it a hundred though. Christian Watson has re- it's been doing good the last Six games, five, six games. So, I think the biggest surprise for me would be probably the Lions as well. Um, again, Jared Goff, he's average. He's not good, but he's not bad. He's average. Um, the running backs, Jamal Williams, he went off this year. He's going off so so long this year. I think he leads the league in touchdown runs. Um. You know, I wonder what they're gonna do with DeAndre Swift um, over the um, over free agency. You know, I wonder if they're gonna trade him, or if they're gonna, you know, let him walk. You know, because DeAndre Swift <laughs> coming from my my uh, team, you know, the George Bulldogs, who's in the playoffs, by the way. Um, I feel like you know, it's just it's just something that you know. I feel like DeAndre Swift wants to be. The, the number one running back instead of just being the second string running back. You know what I mean? And speaking of playoffs, who is going far in the playoffs, in the NFL playoffs? And who is the sleeper, the sleeping giant that people don't think is going to go deep in the playoffs if there was one team? All right. Uh,. Deep in the playoffs, I give. Let's see. Definitely get the Eagles. And Chiefs, of course. They somehow pull out something. Now, Sleeper. Commanders. I got the Commanders sleeping, man. I feel like they're going to they gonna make it to the uh, NFC. NFC East. Or NFC Championship. That's how far I got them going. They're going to lose to the Eagles, though. I'm not an Eagles fan. I'm a Panthers fan. It it hurts. But, yeah. Yeah. Thing is, though, I think you have to win. The, I mean, you have to be second in your division to make the playoffs. But it could happen, though. Um, if the, you know, they got to go through the Cowboys, though. So, I don't think they're going to they gonna beat the Cowboys if they if they go through that. I mean, if they got to play the Cowboys and what's the name. But they, I mean, I don't know. I'm not being biased, but. Couldn't they make it because of wild card? Couldn't they make it? Yeah, they could. They could. Um, they can maybe really make the wild card. Um, but they just got to keep winning these. I mean, they got to win the next two games. I mean, the next, about, was it four games? Next three, four games. Uh, and then, you know, they'll make it to the wild card. You know, uh, then they play 17 games this season now instead of 16. So. Um, Ooh. Game. Yeah, so um yeah. My uh my two teams are probably the same as Rollins, the Eagles, and um and Chiefs. But I think my sleeper team was the Bengals again this year. Um, you know, it's just, you know, the thing is we seen this and I'm not, you know, trying to talk bad about the Chiefs, but when the Chiefs played the Bengals the last Three times, you know, Joe Burrow has been able to beat them, right? I could see that being the AFC Championship game. Chiefs and the um, Chiefs and maybe the, was it the Chiefs and the um, Bengals, right? Then you know, um, the Bengals are very good. Everyone was saying like the Bengals are trash this year, earlier this season, and you know. There were some people like, you know, Nate Burleson that was saying like, hey, you know, don't worry about it right now. They're just, you know, it's early in the season. And then, you know, now their, um, their record is, got to look it up, <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals. I think they're 7-5. Yeah, they're oh, they're 9-4. Nine nine and four. Four. Yeah, they're 9-4 and four, and they're second in the division. Behind my also – Different team, favorite team, the Baltimore Ravens. Fly equals. I mean, oh God, Ooh. no hell! Ooh. 
Oh, oh God, no. Oh, God, no. Ravens flock fly. Oh. Yeah, that's better. That's better, man. I hate the Ravens. Man, I tell you, I'm, I hate the Eagles with a passion, bro. I'm sorry. I hate the Eagles with a passion. <laughs> I hate the Eagles with the passion, bro. I just can't, you know. But in all seriousness, uh, can't be, uh, can't be, you know, can't just can't see that Kelly Green and what and uh, and and White, bro. For real. Um, in all seriousness, though, um, yeah, the, the Bengals definitely a sleeper team. Um, you know. The best two teams in the AFC North is the Ravens and the Bengals. And I don't think no one, you know, is capable enough to play the Chiefs like the Bengals. And if that takes them, I I don't think they're going to go to another Super Bowl this year. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you know, the Eagles, um, the Eagles, the Chiefs, and my sleeper team is the Bengals. Um. So yeah, Can I um, we back. Yeah, you pick on you. You pick. You go pick. <laughs> my super team, my super duper duper team, the Forty ers Just because they got the tools. Just Brock Purdy gonna have to do some magical things. That's all I can say. Yeah, Brock Purdy is him. Remember, um, my my super team would be. Um, let's see, man. The division, the NFC South division is horrible. We can still make it to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Y'all have to continue. I saw something saying like y'all could continue to win games. Y'all just got to continue to win games. But I think my super team would be the, the um the Vikings. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Justin Jefferson. He's definitely the best receiver in the league. Um, Devin Cook. One of the best running backs in the league. They don't run him though. But they don't run him. That's the thing. They don't run the ball. You know, they pass the ball. Um, need to talk to some of these uh, offensive coordinators. <laughs> need to talk to some of these offensive coordinators because these coordinators need to just stop passing the ball at all, just to get these quarterbacks uh, the stat pack. You know what I mean? They need to let the running backs run the ball. Yeah, they do. The the best running back in the league is literally Josh Jacobs, and I'm not saying that that to be bad. But I'm saying it's actually the truth. Like he has 1,400 yards running. I say Nick like, Chubb though. I gotta go off by stats. <laughs> gotta go off by stats. Look, man, I'm telling you, Josh Jacobs, he's he he going off this year. He's going off this year. I am not playing, bro. He is going. Off, bro. He is not. Yes, he is. He's literally. Let's look at the running back stats. When you um, you got to go on like the NFL, and then you got to see it. And yeah, he has. I've seen the um, the the thing on the NFL on Instagram. See, Josh Jacobs, one thousand four hundred two yards. He's How he catch up? literally he's the best running back in the league. The best running back in the league this year. He on the Raiders, right? Yeah, he on the Raiders. He's on the Raiders. That's all they do. They run the ball. They they can't trust Derek Carr. By the way, Derek Carr is not bad at all. I don't think I don't understand why people talk bad about Derek Carr. And I'm sorry to interrupt. It's definitely their defense. Stop talking bad about Derek Carr, especially you, OG. Yeah, man. Like Derek Henry. I mean, not Derek Henry. Uh, Derek Carr literally tries his best every day. He tries to work his tail off. And like people just despise him because they they feel like it's his fault. Look, Devontae Adams has helped him out a lot this year. But then again, outside of Devontae Adams, who 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 other receiver that they have? What other receiver? What other receiver do they have? You know, as we got the sudden phone call. <laughs> yeah, like what what other receiver do we have? What 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 other receivers do they have? You know what I mean? My co my co partner went to um to accept the phone call as we speak, um but yeah like you know what I mean like stop talking bad about Derek Carr Derek Carr is not bad at all he's not bad at all you know if he had a O line around him which basically he does because he wouldn't have no one thousand four hundred two yards Josh Jacobs wouldn't have no one thousand four hundred two yards and the eleven touchdowns this year. 
But he literally, it doesn't make no sense when people just talk bad about their car, you know. But, like, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Raiders fans know. Like, I, I don't watch Raiders. I don't watch, watch a lot of Raiders uh, games. So, you know, the Raiders fans can tell me better than I can tell them. So, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, you see, speaking of, Tony Pollard is literally, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's the ninth. He has, he's the ninth in rushing yards. Where the heck is oh, Zeke? Zeke is literally, like, like 17th. You see, you see, you see. Hey, ETN having a good season. ETN's having a good season as well. Right, that don't make no darn sense. That don't make no darn no. sense. Why is Lamar up there? God damn. Because he runs the ball. That's my QB. 764 rush yards this season? Hey, but look at, uh, look at y'all. Um, look at, uh, uh, where, well, who? Justin Fields. He's literally seventh or eighth. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Who else does Justin Fields have to throw to? He has to literally run for his life. Bro, as soon as that football snap, bro, the O line collapses. He got to run for his life. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. I don't really care because I'm a Clemson fan. Boo, Ohio State, but I support black quarterbacks. But dang, bro, he's struggling. Yeah, you know, Equinemia St. Brown. Freaking Chase Claypool, that you seen that I that I am athlete video where he was like, I'm part, I'm one of the top um three receivers in the league. Definitely not. How the heck you you say something like that, bro? Like no, no, don't say that. It's not no. You're not the best. You're not top three. You're not even top fifteen. Like let's let's be a brutal. Let's be brutal honest. Oh, really honest. Yeah, he. We on we over here looking at um stats, you know, uh just trailing by. Um, about like two minutes, we about to go on break. Um, so yeah, you know Patrick Mahomes, uh, first in the league, of course, thirty three touchdowns. He threw a lot of interceptions though. <laughs> eleven. Eleven interceptions, and normally he don't really throw that much picks. But that is a lot of touchdowns. That's a lot of touchdowns. You know, he still got like four games. He could throw for five thousand yards again. He could throw for five thousand yards again. He has forty one thousand yards. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Gino. Hey, in the words of in the words of OG, pay Gino, pay Gino. You see? Oh, speaking of Russell Wilson, that you seen that? You seen the collapse? He might have got bailed. He might got bailed the last ten years, boy. He might have got bailed the last ten years. He had Doug Baldwin. He had Percy Harvin. He had um, Sidney Rice. I mean Sidney Rice and Tyler Lockett. and Tyler Lockett and DK and you know I know the 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 Broncos receivers are not you know the way they are. I mean they Cortland Sutton and Patrick uh, Tim Patrick is is goons, but you know Jerry? Jerry Judy has an on and off on and off game. He has an on and off game, but like 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 last week he was he was he did great last week, but he he just consistently has on and off games, and I can't stand that. You know, you gotta stay consistent in order for me to get your attention. Like like let's just be real. But yeah, <laughs> Bro, but Mac Jones, Jones is Bro. literally last in the league. Seven touchdowns, eight interceptions. With okay, seven okay, touchdowns okay. and eight interceptions. But all right, so with the, regarding uh, Mr. Mac. Of the Jones, right? Return of the Mac. You see, uh, the TikToks lately. He been getting mad at the coaches because they they running a lot of sh- run plays, I think. And um, there's barely any passing plays. And like lately, he been like going against the calls and stuff. Like whatever his offense coordinator tell him to do, he'd be like, "No." Nah. How you feel about that? Real quickly, um, man, Josh McDaniels is, was it was it Josh McDaniels or was it? Was it who was the lot? Matt Patricia, Matt Patricia. I don't know. I, I I can't I can't see that, bro. I I as a QB though. I mean, as a as a coach, I won't want my player doing that. You know because you know I, I it's just disrespectful. It's like the college situation. It's like the Kyler Murray situation where you had him cussing at the coach. You know what I mean? 
even though Cliff, I don't know, I, I, Cliff is a is a Cliff is a college football coach. He's not an NFL coach. So, but yeah, Mac Jones really don't. Uh, even if even if he was to throw the ball, he has five picks. So it doesn't make any difference if he was to run the ball or to pass the ball. Hey, it doesn't make no difference. Well, yeah, we about to go on break. You know, uh, we about to talk about um, who's the NFL MVP um, of this year because there's a lot, there's like there's some shocking ones and there's some you know original ones like you know Patrick Mahomes. Um, yeah, so um, we about to hit on commercial break. Sounds this is the podcast. This is DSJ podcast. We'll be back soon. Sorry, man. You know we we, we had an inter- instrumental. We we got this uh, instrumental going on, you know, because uh, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but we got this instrumental going on because you know, like we trying to we just getting to know, like, getting to do this thing. I hope y'all enjoying the uh, podcast so far, for real. You know, this is something that I've wanted to do, but it's something that I've never I've never really you know thought about doing. So, um, yeah, let's you know the first person. To DM me on Instagram, RJ3000, just saying, hey, we watched the DSJ podcast. I'll send them $5. First person. So that will see if y'all paying attention this long. <laughs> Nobody ain't going to get my $5. But it's okay. We'll see, though. We'll see who a real one. And Dion, you don't count. You, you hear yourself, so I know you're already hearing this. But, yeah, man, let's get into some more topics. All right, so this is the most. This is the part where we talk about the MVP. All right, of what of the NFL? Oh, don't worry, we gonna talk about the NBA. Don't worry, don't act like this is just, don't act like this. Is, we this is just only an NFL podcast. This is it's all worldwide. We can talk about soccer too, but I'm not. I don't watch soccer, so let's but go yeah, Messi. Yeah, let's go, Lionel. Uh, it's all seriousness. Yeah, let's. Pogba. <laughs> Let's go man Let's talk about the NFL MVP um, So Roland Who do you think Is the NFL MVP This year So far 
That's tough. That's tough. Give me a second. I'm, I'm gonna look it up on my computer because I have no idea. Yeah, well, the main one I can tell you though that the main one being Jan, one of them being Jalen Hurts. I, you know, I ain't saying I ain't I ain't gonna talk bad about him. You know, I always thought of him as a bad QB because of course of Eagles red bias. I mean, Eagles like hate, but you know, in all seriousness, if we take aside that that bias, Jalen Hurts is it's Jalen Hurts has been good this year. Jalen Hurts has been very good this year. I feel like you know if he don't win it, I understand. But it's all good, you know. He he deserves it. He deserves MVP. Um, but you know, I already know they're gonna uh, say, and I'm not trying. I'm not gonna try to talk. I'm not. See, as a Ravens fan, as a Ravens fan, I I don't like Patrick Mahomes. It's just because he just keeps messing with my team up every almost every year. So, but I feel like they're gonna. Give it to Patrick Mahomes. I'm not gonna say what I want to say, but they're gonna give it to Patrick Mahomes because you know, Mahomes is that QB everyone loves. Not everyone, but people love. You know, people want to want to win. You know, especially if you're a Chiefs fan, like you, like, hey, bro, I got the best QB in the league. I ain't got nothing to worry about. You know, I feel like I can almost go to a Super Bowl almost every year. You know, so. I feel like they're gonna give it to Patrick Mahomes, but if Patrick Mahomes doesn't do good the next couple of games, I feel like, and if Jalen Hurts does, I feel like they're gonna give it to Jalen Hurts. Okay, all right, all right. I like that. I like that, Jalen Hurts. I actually, um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I like Joe Burrow. It's a weird one, but I like it just because this team was. This team had a horrible record at the beginning of the season. Like, we was looking like, okay, Rams and Bengals not even going to make the playoffs. We know the Rams not now. Yeah. But the Bengals can actually make it, right? And I don't know, just him coming off that leg injury, taking them to the Super Bowl in his really first official season, now second season, still leading his team with a horrible – oh, my gosh, they have a horrible defense. A horrible defense. But their offense is majestic, bro. He making it happen, bro. He calling some plays that we ain't never seen. He making audibles, crazy ones. And I th- I just think it's the fact he's so young. You know what I'm saying? You put Joe Burrow, um, put Joe Burrow on the Eagles, bro. That's Super Bowl every time. Nah, not even the Eagles. Give him to the Buccaneers. That's Super Bowl. I swear, that's Super Bowl. Tom Brady can't even move out that darn pocket. He's stuck. Old legs. 45. Bro, he need to sit down, bro. I give up with that. Let me stop getting off topic, but I definitely like Joe Burrow. I'm a Clemson fan. Lord Jesus, they blew us out. Uh, they, oh, boy. We didn't even get to play against them, I don't think, but they 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 did George wrong, too, so we all got messed up that year. That that just shows, like, that's a generational talent. Back to Mahomes, yeah, you can give it to him. Has he won it yet? Uh yeah, so I don't really like that. I I, th- I think they should come up with a rule like if you win it once, you know you can't really win it again. But you can get like an honorable mention, like you probably would have. <laughs> but since you already won, you know, just giving different people chances. But if he dominate, he dominate. I can't lie, Patrick Mahomes will always dominate. That man's a beast, bro. So yeah, yeah. Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey. How old is Travis Kelsey? Because the thing about that, right? I don't know how Patrick Mahomes would do if Travis Kelsey retires. He's thirty three. Okay, I think Pat, I think I think Travis will play another th- two three years, right? But he's old. He's old, and Patrick Mahomes is twenty seven. Um, so you know, age is starting to hit up with Travis, and you know, already know he don't. He I mean, the only receive the receiving core he has is not. He don't have Tyreek no more. You know, MVS. If y'all don't know who MVS is, Mark, um, um, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Yeah, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Um, Juju, Juju been on and off. Um, and then uh, Pacheco, the running back. Um, you know, you think that's team? You think that team? I know, I know they ain't gonna be the same. I know they ain't gonna be like 
It ain't gonna be like that the next two years. Probably everybody that we have that they have now is probably gonna be on different teams or probably gonna be staying. Yeah. Um he only has one touchdown this year though. But six hundred six yards. Um this we're talking about Marquez Valdez Scantling or M V S. Um of course Miko. Miko might be there the whole time Patrick is there. Unless they don't trade him. But he don't really do nothing. He don't really produce. You know, he's he's a speedster, but they don't really throw him the ball. They just give it to um the the playmakers, you know what I mean? Um Juju actually has seven hundred and sixty two yards. I like Juju at the slot, bro. Oh wow. I never thought Juju was a deep threat. I didn't think he was fast enough to. But Cheese put him at the slot. Yeah, he's taking some big hits getting hurt, but that boy, he is big enough to take some of those hits. Seven hundred and sixty two yards. Yeah, we like him at the yeah, we like him at the uh, slot, man. See, I didn't think he I didn't even think he had that much. See, you know, I'm not a stat fanatic, so I, I, I just I just look, you know, I look, you know, as I as we uh you know talk about it, you know, I didn't think he had that much. I I see because it's just always I'm thinking he just kind of he just kind of give me irritation vibes you know yeah. yeah he already had yeah speaking of we looking at Travis Dang. Kelsey right now he's a certified Hall of Famer certified Hall of Famer Dang. I don't care what nobody says is he better than Tony Gonzalez if you if you want to talk bring that debate up you can you can you know that's not I'm not a Chiefs fan so I wouldn't know I do love Tony Gonzalez though um but. Yeah, man, you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it like this, man. Travis Kelsey, and you know Travis Kelsey. Um, when he's gone and Patrick Mahomes is there, who is he gonna have around him that's gonna make plays for him? You know, we already see. You know, Juju, Juju might not be there in the next three years. Who else? MVS, he might not be there in the next three years. He might get traded. You know, next season he might get. You know what's the name? He might not. He might not start for them. He not he might not play for them. But yeah, um, hold on. We looking right now. So we looking at um, the best receivers in the league. Devontae Adams is just he's just him. At the beginning of the season, they say he 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 needed Aaron Rodgers. I think he definitely done proved them boys wrong. I mean, he probably number one, ain't he? Yeah, he definitely. No, he's not number one in receiving yards. No. That's, that's probably yeah. That's probably JJ. But he do got twelve touchdowns on the season. He's proven he's wide receiver number one. Whatever team he go to, ooh, you know who he look good with for real. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Is it Carolina. Carolina, he looked great at Carolina. <laughs> and this dude talking about Aaron Rodgers. I, mean, I don't know if they'll trade him to dog on Carolina. I mean, if he will ever go to Carolina, but if he does, he probably be like in like thirty four. <laughs> He's already twenty five. I'm twenty nine years old. So if he goes to the uh, Carolina Panthers, I I will be shocked. The thing is, you just need a QB. You just need a QB. But um, yeah, we just looking around here, you know. Uh, Stephon Diggs Man I, hold on Speaking of I know we going on topic Jalen Ramsey he, Is he declining Is Jalen Ramsey declining Because Earlier this year I'm Athlete Podcast He said the same thing Somewhat like Like Chase Claypool I'm one of the I'm the best Cornerback in the league We're gonna go on commercial break And we're gonna talk about it Real quick We're gonna talk about it so this is the DSA podcast, and I hope y'all enjoying it so far. Let's get it.
Welcome back to the DSA Podcast um, Real quickly We got to wrap it up But Let's talk about Jalen Ramsey real quick So Oh man Ramsey The first game I'm not going I'm not going to go off the pass This whole year Ramsey is, has been kind of cooked when, when when number one receivers are on him He's kind of He seems like he's declining It seems like he's declining No he, Of course he's The number one He's the number one cornerback He's the number one corner No No doubt He's probably the best, One of the best corners in the league Still Even if he, if he Even if he's declining Not doing good this year He's the best, one of the best corners in the league No one can ever say that But It feels weird that you know, as time goes on, you know, people start to decline, and it feels like Ramsey. Um, Ramsey's. I'm not saying he's not. He's not bad. He's not bad. He's he he's having an off year this year. He normally don't get a lot of picks, but he's he's big. He's known for, you know, but he he can hit. He can hit for a corner. He can tackle. He can hit, but. Do you feel like Ramsey is on a decline, or is this just one bad year? Ramsey, what, like thirty three? No, he's probably like twenty nine, twenty eight. <sighs> He's born in 1994, so 94, yeah, 28, 29. He's still young. Um, I say he's fine. Off little year. I mean, when you don't got too much shoot, even Aaron Donald hasn't been crazy, but they got a double team, so can't really do much. But um, I think it's just one of those years where they're on purpose targeting him. So he's not really catching much of a break. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like he's going to turn up all season, just show up next season. I don't even know if he's going to stay with the Rams. He probably is, ain't he? He's probably going to stay with the Rams. He probably. I don't know if he's a free agent, but if, he, if so, then I... I think they paid him. Did they pay him? I don't know if they paid him again. Though. True. Well, that comes with that. But I see him on a different team striving. I see him on a different team striving. Man, on the Eagles, that would be crazy. Slate and Ramsey, bro. That's going to be too much for the salary cap. Yeah, that's way too much. <laughs> but I can see them uh, actually thriving. Chiefs, bro. Yeah, they need a corner. They do need They need. Defense. They need a star they corner, bro. Defense. And I feel like he'll bring that. Because once you get a star player, that makes everyone else tap in, bro. And they, they got some de- decent, like, they don't really have corners, but they linebackers. And they D line is pretty decent. Besides giving up the run, but besides that, they good on coverage wise. But yeah, man, I think uh, Ramsey he's gonna be fine. I just think he thrives somewhere else. I don't know. I don't think the Rams like it. I don't, I don't like it with the Rams too much. It just went downhill, man. Cause they you see what they did last year. They just kind of picked up people. They don't got a firm foundation, so that's why I say yeah now. And plus they giving that Baker Mayfield crap a little hype, so let him get some. Uh, um, yeah, um, well, this is the first ever show. Um, maybe, you know, um, I thank y'all so much. You know, hopefully y'all like, subscribe, share. Um, we have. There's things that we trying to do here, you know. I know it's not perfect. I know people aren't going to jump, jump aboard the train, really. And if they do, they keep on, keep on jumping on bars. But, hey, yo. Yeah, like, it's like, man, it's um, yeah, but, yeah, I thank y'all so much, you know. Um, it's not, you know, it's just, just something. You know, it's going to keep on, we're going to keep on doing this. Eventually, hopefully, we get to that point where we'll start having a uh, special guest and having people, you know, join on. And, you know, it'll be a good, it'll be a good podcast. I promise you, I won't let y'all down. If I do, I'm going to continue to keep on fighting. So, thank y'all so much for watching this podcast. If you do, 
please like, share, and subscribe uh, to the podcast. And it's your boy Dion, the cold host. It's your boy Roland RJ3000. And this is Ride the Way. Get out, get out, yo!